Hello everyone, um, I want to make this just relatively quick, it's just some reflections on uh, the huge protests that have taken place in Hong Kong today. Um, they're an annual event and this year seems to be one of the biggest on record. Um, basically it's protests in favour of democracy. Um, the organisers estimate it was half a million people on the streets Please put the numbers of the war perhaps 100,000, but whatever way you look at it, it was a huge rally. And bear in mind the total population of Hong Kong is just about 7 million, so as a proportion that's pretty high. That's like um, a fifth of the entire population is uh, protesting in favour of democracy. You know, compare this to protests in other parts of the world where it would be, you wouldn't have any near that sort of proportion. So clearly there is a very strong desire in Hong Kong for um, for democracy. Um, the context, of course, is that Hong Kong uh, was handed back to China in 1997 from the United Kingdom. Um, and since then, a part of that agreement was that Hong Kong would enjoy a degree of autonomy, and it does compared to the mainland. However, in recent years there has been... Um, very subtle but also very um, blatant attempts by the CCP, the Communist Party of China, to try and uh, gradually um, integrate Hong Kong into the Chinese one-party system. Now, this is uh, supposedly the system of uh, one, part, uh, one country, two systems, but basically what is happening is um, the CCP is trying its level best to get as much influence as they can in the territory. One example is um, nationalistic education, which the people of Hong Kong, through protests, managed to stop, thank goodness. Because otherwise you would have the situation like on the mainland, where children are brainwashed to love the party. Um, and people in Hong Kong recognise that, and they don't want it. And this is not intended as an insult to mainlanders, by the way. I know there's uh, from my own perspective, I'm not making this video to insult mainlanders. I'm speaking out simply to support Hong Kongers. Um, basically, I think the CCP would be making a very grave mistake if they take a hardline approach to this, and if they try to enforce their will on the people of Hong Kong, because that would be massively counterproductive. Um, these people have said they're willing to take part in civil unrest if the CCP does that. So I think it would be a huge policy error. Uh, leave aside all the moral issues, it would just be practically stupid to do that. Uh, and ultimately the CCP would pay the price. I wouldn't like to think what would happen, but I think it would be a grave mistake if they tried to take a hardline approach to Hong Kong, which is a place that has enjoyed um, relative autonomy for years, but that autonomy is under threat, as Beijing is trying to enforce its will on the territory. If you're not sure about this situation, basically Hong Kong is technically part of the People's Republic of China, but it enjoys a degree of autonomy. It's known as a special administrative region along with Macau, although it's bigger than Macau so it gets more attention. But basically um, Macau and Hong Kong, whilst they're part of China, they enjoy it's a certain degree of autonomy that um, people in mainland China don't have. Now one of the demands of the protests is, is that they be allowed to um, choose their chief executive. Um, so basically they're calling for democratic ideals. Hong Kong has a certain degree of democracy but it's not full democracy. Certainly not comparable to um, the European Union or North American countries. Not that sort of what we would conventionally see as democracy. But it does enjoy semi-autonomy and certainly there's a lot more freedom of expression in Hong Kong than there is in the rest of China. Another example is that Hong Kong is the only part of China where there is um, anniversary marches for Tiananmen Square to remember the victims of that awful day. Now, what the CCP are trying to do is basically model Hong Kong to resemble the rest of China. And it's great to see these protests because if they weren't taking place, if there was sort of an atmosphere of apathy, then eventually Hong Kong would end up that way. But because of the determination of these people, that I don't think it will happen. Because there's just simply too many people who can read between the lines and see what the CCP is trying to do. I should say this isn't a universal feeling in Hong Kong, although most Hong Kongers definitely don't seem to want one-party rule. It's not universal. You have 
frankly what I would call CCP stooges like um, Jackie Chan, the famous actor. He's very popular, but I think um, that's an area whereby um, he is doesn't share the opinion of a lot of his fellow Hong Kongers. Jackie Chan believes he made a controversial speech a few years ago. He believes Hong Kong he believes Hong Kongers complain too much, and that um, the U.S. is the most corrupt country in the world. That uh, basically he's becoming a yes man for the Communist Party, and he's a bit of a cheerleader for the CCP. A uh, great action star, but unfortunately a cheerleader for, in many ways, a repressive regime. So that's unfortunate. That's why I, I want to say it's not absolutely universal around Hong Kong. There's some people who will toe the party line. But certainly most normal Hong Kongers seem to make their opinion clear. They don't want single party rule. And Beijing should take that seriously. Because whilst China is a very powerful country, if they were to be seen by the international community to be bullying the people of Hong Kong, trying to force them to be submissive to Beijing's um, demands, to their will, i.e. Uh, brainwashing education and uh, CCP propaganda, then it won't go down well in world opinion. So the best approach Beijing can take here is just basically let them do it. Let these people have the protests and um, let them have democracy. This is a fundamental human right, uh, the right to self-determination. I'm not speaking as a British person from a British bias, I'm talking about solely Hong Kong for Hong Kong people.